Windows 11 isn't just a fresh coat of paint on your computer screen, it's a fundamental shift toward a more secure and trustworthy computing experience. With its sleek design and powerful features, Windows 11 promises a giant leap forward in productivity and user satisfaction. But this leap comes with a crucial requirement, a trusted platform module, or TPM. This tiny chip, often embedded directly into your motherboard, is the bedrock upon which Windows 11's security enhancements are built. In this digital age, where cyber threats loom large, understanding the TPM is no longer optional. It's essential. In the following sections, we'll demystify the world of TPMs, guide you through the process of checking your PC's compatibility, and equip you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your digital security. In the simplest terms, a TPM is a dedicated microcontroller that enhances the security of your computer at the hardware level. Unlike software-based security solutions, which can be vulnerable to malware attacks, a TPM provides a more robust layer of protection by storing cryptographic keys, digital certificates, and other sensitive information in a secure, isolated environment. Whether it's verifying the integrity of your operating system during boot-up, encrypting your hard drive with BitLocker, or securing your online transactions, the TPM plays a pivotal role in ensuring that your digital interactions remain private, secure, and trustworthy. In essence, it's the unsung hero working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep your digital world safe and sound. TPMs are implemented in various ways, each with its own set of advantages and security implications. Discrete TPMs. These are standalone chips physically soldered onto the motherboard, offering the highest level of isolation and tamper resistance. Firmware TPMs, or FTPMs. Integrated into the firmware of more modern platforms, FTPMs leverage the existing security capabilities of the chipset to provide TPM functionality. Virtual TPMs, or VTPMs, primarily found in virtualized environments, VTPMs emulate the functionality of physical TPMs using software. While they offer a degree of security, they are inherently more vulnerable than their hardware counterparts, as they reside within the same attack surface as the virtual machine itself. The implementation of TPM in your device determines the level of hardware-backed security you can expect. While all TPMs enhance security, discrete TPMs generally offer the highest level of protection, followed by FTPMs and then VTPMs. Understanding these implementations is crucial for comprehending the level of protection your device offers. The concept of a TPM isn't exactly new. Its roots can be traced back to the late 1990s, with the emergence of the Trusted Computing Group, an industry consortium dedicated to developing and promoting open standards for secure computing. Early versions of TPM focused on securing hardware and establishing a root of trust for critical operations like boot processes and data encryption. Over the years, TPM has evolved significantly, with each iteration bringing enhanced security features and broader industry adoption. TPM 1.2 released in 2011 became the de facto standard for many years, enabling features like secure boot and hard drive encryption. The latest iteration, TPM 2.0 introduced in 2015, represents a significant leap forward, offering stronger cryptographic algorithms, support for mobile devices, and greater flexibility for implementing advanced security features. As cyber threats have become more sophisticated, the need for robust hardware-based security has become paramount. Now that you understand the importance of a TPM, you're probably wondering if your PC has one. Fortunately, checking for a TPM is a straightforward process in Windows. First, press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Then type tpm.sc and press Enter. This will open the TPM Management Console. If your PC has a TPM, you'll see information about its version and status. If it doesn't, you'll likely see a message saying, Compatible TPM cannot be found. You can check your motherboard manufacturer's website to see if a TPM module can be added. Another option is to consider upgrading to a newer PC that comes with TPM 2.0 support. A TPM isn't just a silent chip sitting on your motherboard, it's an active component that works tirelessly to enhance various security features in Windows. Secure Boot Imagine your computer as a castle and Secure Boot as the vigilant gatekeeper. Secure Boot, a key feature enabled by TPM, ensures that your PC only boots using legitimate and trusted software. BitLocker Drive Encryption Think of BitLocker as a digital vault for your entire hard drive. 
and TPM is the master key that unlocks it. BitLocker leverages the TPM to encrypt your entire hard drive rendering your data unreadable without the correct decryption key. Windows. Hello. Say goodbye to remembering complex passwords. Windows Hello, Microsoft's biometric authentication system, uses the TPM to securely store and manage your facial recognition or fingerprint data. These are just a few examples of how TPM enhances security in Windows, from protecting your online transactions to securing your virtual private networks or VPNs, TPM works tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that your digital life remains private, secure, and trustworthy. It's the unsung hero of your digital security, working diligently to keep your data safe from prying eyes. The concept of hardware-based security isn't limited to Windows PCs. Other operating systems and devices have implemented similar technologies to enhance security and protect user data. Apple's Secure Enclave Similar to TPM, Apple's Secure Enclave is a dedicated co-processor found in iPhones, iPads, and Macs. It provides a secure enclave for storing sensitive data like encryption keys, biometric templates, and Apple Pay information. Google's Titan M found in newer Pixel devices and some Chromebooks, Google's Titan M chip is a dedicated security chip that enhances device security by verifying boot processes, protecting sensitive transactions, and securing encryption keys. Like TPM and Secure Enclave, Titan M operates independently of the main processor, providing a secure foundation for critical operations. While the specific implementations and feature sets may vary, the underlying principle remains the same, to enhance security by leveraging dedicated hardware components that are isolated from the main operating system and applications. These technologies represent a significant step forward in securing our increasingly interconnected digital lives. If your PC has a TPM but it's not enabled, you'll need to enable it in the BIOS or UEFI settings to take advantage of its security benefits and meet the Windows 11 requirement. The process for enabling TPM varies depending on your motherboard manufacturer, but the general steps are as follows. First, restart your computer and enter the BIOS or UEFI settings by pressing the designated key during boot-up, usually Dell, F2, F10, or EC. Next, navigate to the Security tab or a similar section related to security settings. Look for an option related to TPM, PTT, or FTPM. Then, enable the TPM option and save the changes to the BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you've enabled TPM in the BIOS, you'll need to ensure that it's also enabled in Windows. Enabling TPM is a crucial step towards unlocking the full security potential of your PC. The release of Windows 11 brought about a wave of excitement but it also sparked some confusion particularly regarding the TPM 2.0 requirement. Microsoft's decision to make TPM 2.0 mandatory for Windows 11 was driven by a commitment to enhancing security and ensuring a more trustworthy computing experience for users. While the TPM requirement might seem like a hurdle, it's essential to understand that it's not about excluding users, but rather about raising the bar for security in the face of evolving cyber threats. TPM 2.0 enables a wide range of security features that work in the background to protect your data, your privacy, and your digital identity. If your PC doesn't have a TPM 2.0 chip, upgrading to Windows 11 might require some additional steps. As mentioned earlier, you can check with your motherboard manufacturer to see if a TPM module can be added. Alternatively, you might consider upgrading to a newer PC that comes with TPM 2.0 support out of the box. As technology continues to evolve at an unprecedented pace, so too do the threats to our digital security. The Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, is not a static technology but rather a constantly evolving standard, adapting to the changing security landscape and embracing new possibilities beyond traditional security. Future iterations of TPM are expected to incorporate even stronger cryptographic algorithms, enhanced protection against physical attacks, and greater integration with emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. The potential applications of TPM extend far beyond traditional PCs. As the Internet of Things, or IoT, expands connecting billions of devices, the need for robust hardware-based security becomes paramount. TPM can play a crucial role in securing these connected devices, ensuring that our smart homes, wearable devices, and critical infrastructure remain protected from cyber threats. The future of TPM is bright 
promising a future where security is seamlessly integrated into the very fabric of our digital lives. In today's interconnected world, where our lives are increasingly intertwined with the digital realm, ensuring the security of our data, our privacy and our digital identities is paramount. The Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, stands as a crucial line of defense a silent guardian working tirelessly behind the scenes to protect us from the ever-evolving threat landscape. From enabling secure boot processes to encrypting our hard drives and securing our online transactions, TPM plays a pivotal role in creating a more trustworthy and secure computing experience. By embracing TPM and supporting its adoption, we are collectively contributing to a safer, more secure, and trustworthy digital future for everyone. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and insights. And let me know in the comments below.